All right, Libra, here we go. It's an energies update for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. General reading may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. Okay, here we go. Uh, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you are meant to find it. Let me just adjust myself here. Uh, I got my pre-shuffle. I'm going to show it to you. Me talking to the universe, giving the soulmate cycle from the angle of Libra right now. Uh, you had a very interesting little Friday card poll there. I saw some luck coming in for you. Also, some communication, possibly. But it, it, the reason the communication part, I mean, the luck part is definite. A little change in your circumstances. The, the Page of Pentacles can have that effect. It, and sometimes it's not always read off of it, but I read it off of yours in that Friday reading. That's definite. The person coming towards you, however, is a bit of in and out. It's a bit of wishy-washy. Yeah, their intuition's driving them towards you. A high priestess crossing the two of pentacles. They know what the, what the hell they want to do. Mm -hmm. And they know what the hell to do. Right here. Cause, because driven by love. The queen of cups. The biggest card of love I can uh, pull. And she holds the ace of cups and she gives the full cup. Uh, crossing that is the judgment card. Okay, someone from the past wanting to come in. Bring a cup of love. Intuition knows what to do. Wishy-washy. It's up to their free will. We're seeing this a lot in the energies right now. And then I got the hermit. If you don't know what to do, don't do anything at all. Kind of a shh, Just sort of let the air out of the tires sort of a thing. And crossing that is victory. They know they need to come in if they want anything here. They have the ability to do it. The magician is here. That's as far as I can go here in the pre-shuffle. But... They have the ability to do it. They're getting in their own way. This is a lot of brain energy. The rest of it's all kind of soul energy. It's just a little, a little, the only thing stopping them from coming towards you is this two of pentacles. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe they're worried about someone on their side. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's do a reading. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Libra, universe. What's going on here? Now this first card out, which just flipped out of the deck and landed in here and there it is it's right here that's it this first card out is why the fuck are we here we're here because of this slow energy the knight of pentacles they're coming towards you and not and stopping it's stop and go stop and go it's not it's not in and out eh, that was interesting because i called it in and out in the pre-shuffle but this knight of pentacles is kind of correcting me a little bit it's stop and go they're always the ener the energy's coming towards you and it stops. It doesn't go backward. It comes towards you. And then it stops. It doesn't go backward. It's very interesting. All right. What comes after that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what comes after that? The intuition. If it wasn't for their intuition, they wouldn't be going anywhere at all. Their brain is like, stop. Their intuition is go. Okay. The soul says go. The brain says stop. It's exactly what we got in the pre-shuffle. All right, let's shuffle the deck. Let's do a reading. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Libra. Universe, give me a reading. It knows what I mean by that. Give me a reading here. What do we got? What's going on here? Okay. Uh -huh. This is what's going on here. Somebody's in their head. Nine swords. Coming to the end of it, though. It's a nine. All right, we're coming to the end of pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey, but they are. It's what they're doing. What's what's uh, fueling this? Oh, a little bit of love. Uh, probably nervousness. You know, apprehension. Page of Cups. Maybe they owe you an apology. I don't know. Could be. But a nervous and at nervous apprehension. Okay, that's 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 the overall energy of the reading. Nervous apprehension. Pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. They're always coming towards you. Never going back. Moving slowly, stop and go. Intuition is driving. Brain yells, stop. Stop! Right. Okay, all right. A lot of cups here. There's, there's love here. They're suppressing it a little bit. Okay, all right. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel in the soul about you. Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Right here's the hidden energy, message from the universe. I'll tell you what she says. It's read with the energy of the connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I can't predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. And if I think we need to extend it, I will. I don't know. I don't know if I can extend a stop and go person. Uh, what's the energy around the connection right now? Stubborn. Uh, the emperor. 
Someone, it's the Burger King. It's out of balance. It's an out of balance emperor. It's silent. There's the moon in front of the sun. Silent Bob in front of Chatty Cathy. Uh, it, yeah, it's just, I, I, you heard me. I said stubborn before it hit the table. It's stubborn. It's a stubborn energy. Got to have it their way. The Burger King. Right? Well, I just like it, Burger King. You don't get it your way. I always get my Whopper with mayo, and I, I say no mayo. <sighs> right there. <sighs> okay. And it's, so they're doing it to themselves. We always are with the Nine of Swords. That backs it up. Okay. All right. uh, how do they feel in their emotions? <laughs> yeah. The Ten of Wands. Heavy. Their, their emotions are heavy because we don't get it our way. The Burger King's always learned that. Just like everybody who goes to Burger King, in my opinion, learns you don't get it your way. You don't. They, you can't have things. We don't control anything in life. Even the stuff we think we control is just an illusion. It's nonsense. This person is the cause of all their own problems, and they're creating their own burdens. I would say you're heavy on their mind, but that would be a gross understatement. How do they feel in the soul about you? The Queen of Swords. Cold exterior, warm interior. Um, when this falls in the soul, it's swords in the soul position. It's someone who's letting their brain get in the way. Uh, it's, it's book ending stubborn energy. Nope, I am not in love with Libra. Nope, I am not. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Yeah, they are. Big time. Uh, and they know it. But their brain is getting in the way. Okay? All right. We're not done yet. Chill. Take a chill. Relax. Get comfortable, Libra. <laughs> I read energy, not cards, so I already know where this is going. Just relax. Get comfortable. All right? Get your pants off, whatever you need to do. Even if you're at work, let them see it. Whatever. Hidden energy here. Red with the Empress. What is it? King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Oh, the emperor. I called it the empress. I'm sorry, the emperor. <laughs> it's not the... I wish it was the empress. Uh, but this is a little bit. It's your energy attached to it. It's the eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. You, this is what I'm picking up in the energy. Eventually, they're just going to come in. Eventually, you're irreplaceable to this person. They can't find you anywhere. And that's part of the burden. I don't know why they just don't want you. I, I have no idea. <laughs> but... But they, you know, they're just causing their own problems by being a Burger King, by being stubborn. That's all. It is, it, you're irreplaceable. Um, and also, there's a secondary energy here, as energy is always in layers. This person is worried about their stability. Okay? I see this a lot in this soulmate cycle. Somebody's worried that coming toward you is going to affect someone else or something else in their world. Okay. I say follow your heart in life. But whatever. Let's go. What's the potential final outcome here? Well, the Ten of Wands would tell me there's a dam about to burst. And so would this card, the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, this I, I, it's what I told you. Again, I read energy. I, I don't care about the cards. They're really just pretty pictures for you. It, it, it says what I already said when I pulled this King of Pentacles. I said they're going to come towards you anyway. Eventually, they're just going to because this dam has to break. It's already at a breaking point in their emotions. It's a tan. Tans are the end, and and that lead to transformation, to a new beginning. It's These two cards are red together. This dam breaks, the universe says, and they come towards you. It's choppy over here. It's calm over here. Moving toward calmer waters, the rainbow, the six of swords. It is up to their free will. It's minor arcana in the final outcome. And your person is stubborn as fuck. Wanting to have it your their way. Control everything. Whatever it is. And it's creating a great burden for them. It's keeping them up at night. They're doing it to themselves. Eventually this snaps. We have to do something. Alright. That's just the way it works. I'm going to clarify with the little light seer deck. Put my nine of swords. Our overall energy back here. Let's go. Why is the emperor here? Mm. Let's go. Let's do this. Why is the Emperor here? Tell me about this person. Tell, well, this is the energy around the connection. And it's their energy that's affecting it. Okay? Their energy. Your energy is like, hey, come talk to me. Uh, I want to talk. You're, it's obvious. I'm not being any kind of magical being by saying that. You're watching tarot readings to find out how this person feels about you and what they might do. 
I assume you're interested in talking to them, if nothing else, to tell them to fuck off. That'd be a nice satisfaction, wouldn't it? I'll tell you somebody who's queen of swords in the soul, they deserve what they get. Probably some karma is what they get. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Wow, the same card that was here when I picked up the deck is here again. And I almost talked about it. Because I called this the Empress by accident, Freudian slip. This is Minor Arcana Empress energy here. It's the Nine of Pentacles. This person's, uh, uh, this person's worried about losing their independence or something, losing some pentacles, trying to... Uh, uh, I, I don't understand this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's about pentacles over love, that kind of thing. Worried about... Again, I saw it here in a secondary energy. Worried about losing something. So we got the Page of Cups on top of it. Love is small to this person, but it isn't. The Five of Wands is why the Page of Cups is here. The Five of Wands is someone who's arguing with themselves. Should I go in and apologize? Should I? I think I should. Uh, I think I should go in and apologize, but I'm not going to, even though they're irreplaceable, because I don't love Libra. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. It's right there. Okay. Uh, and it's all of this bullshit, Five minor nonsense five of wands their, it's their soul arguing with their brain i already told you the soul is driving it forward the brain is saying stop stop <laughs> like that all right and it's all creating this big burden in their emotions tell me about the ten of wands tell me about the ten of wands why is it here dare i even ask why is the ten of wands here Because the dam's about to break. The, the universe gave us this 10 because this is the end of this shit. This person likely is coming towards you. I already read that in the energy. That's why I said get comfortable. Get your pants off even if you're at work. Relax. Chill. Put your feet up on the desk. Uh, right here is the wheel of fortune. It's turning. They can't take it anymore. You're irreplaceable to this person. You're very special to this person. They're just very... <sighs> I can't even describe it. Stubborn, I know, right? Stubborn isn't the right word. They're a bit like my bird over here. Flam, he a Pisces, you know. He's very nice. But, but birds by nature are very, got to have it their way. They're, they're kind of Burger Kings, you know. But in the bird's case, they have an excuse. Birds lack a frontal lobe. They don't, they don't have that, you know. They're all about themselves. But, but... <laughs> this person is behaving a bit like they lack a frontal lobe in a lot of ways. What what here is the uh, yeah the two of wands? Uh, they're just going to snap and come towards you, but there's still something else lingering around that they need to get rid of. Why is the two of wands here? Five of pentacles. <sighs> they're leaving themselves out in the cold by not doing anything here, and it's causing a bur it, it's a feedback loop. It's coming around and around and around on themselves. They feel better for a second when they don't do something because they got it their way and then they realize you're irreplaceable and then they don't. Then they want to do something but then they leave themselves out in the cold which creates the ten wands which then makes them feel good because they got it their way. You, you following me? It goes around and around and around. It really is. Are you sure your person is not an eclectus parrot like I've got over here? Because this little guy over here, he a Pisces mind you. If your person's a Pisces, they are definitely, check them for feathers. Okay, because this is, this is what birds do. And it's really kind of funny. I say that, and I mean it. I'm, I'm making a joke, but it's fucking true. And I, I'll tell you what. I say that, and they have a bird in their soul here. The snowy owl. <laughs> I don't love Libra. Okay, you don't, huh? It's a lie. Of course they fucking love you. Big time. And that's the problem here. That there wouldn't be a burden if they didn't. And this little pagey wouldn't be here if they didn't. Why is the uh, Queen of Swords here? Tell me about their soul energy. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, this snowy owl here. Why is he here? Hmm? He or she in this case. All right, here we go. Why, 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 why? <laughs> I just got done talking about feedback loops. This card bookends the Emperor, okay? They're read together. I asked why is the Queen of Swords here? I get the Emperor. <laughs> from another deck. Yes, it's a feedback loop. Your person has feathers. They're a bird. 
You're basically in love with a bird. Man, that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, I feel good that I didn't go toward them because I got what I wanted. And then they realize they love you a little bit, fight with themselves. The soul pushes them forward. They leave themselves out in the cold, because which creates a burden, which then makes them feel good because they got what they wanted. But then they realize they love and you're irreplaceable. It's over and over. It's a stubborn ass motherfucking energy beyond belief. What's on top? Ten of wands. On top, on top of that, the cards are going in order from another deck. Do you see the loop? Do you understand that this is the real deal here at Steve Love Tarot? This doesn't fucking happen. I'm describing a loop to you, and I'm getting a loop. The Emperor, the Emperor. I ask why the Queen of Swords is here. I get the Emperor, the Emperor. I get Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. It's unreal. Your person is a bird. I bet I'm pulling on Flem's... Uh, cockatoo from Pasadena that he's missing. I think this is a reading for your cockatoo. Is she a Pisces? Or is she a, uh, a, a Libra? I don't know. He doesn't know. He, he didn't ask her, her, her astrological sign. Okay, uh, why is the Ten of Wands here? The Page of Wands. It's my party girl. Mm -hmm. Eventually they come in. Eventually they get real is what this is saying. But this person is an emotional child. It's almost as though they lack a frontal lobe. They really are a bird. Check them for fucking feathers. Uh, it, 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 it is what it is. The top row is exactly as I read it to you. This five of wands is not enough to stop them. They do eventually. Eventually this person gets real and takes a chance here. Why? Because you're irreplaceable. And this is part of the loop. This is part of the circle. When they feel good that they got their way and ah, I'm keeping my distance. Ha! I don't love Libra. Oh, but I do. And the reason they, they get to the oh, but I do point is this right here. On the top layer of energy, this, this King of Pentacles is your irreplaceable. It's a rainbow antler at eight point buck. Go ahead and find another one of those. But this card represents stability. This person is worried about losing their stability if the, uh, in some way with the nine of Pentacles crossing here. It, it, it's there in some way if they come towards you but they're wrong about that the truth is their stability is lost by staying by staying in this loop that they're in oh, uh, why is the king of pentacles here let's see what else the universe wants to tell us that was mind-blowing that top row I, I, I literally saw the circle of energy I don't normally see energy but in this case I saw the circle of energy and it came out in the cards perfectly it followed the reading it's unreal why is the King of Pentacles here? That's why I love tarot. I do. It, it's, you know, when I was a kid, it taught me how to read the energy or how to interpret the energy I was reading. Because when you're 10 or 11 years old, you don't really know. You, you start picking up all these feelings when you can do these sorts of things. And you don't know what they are because you've never experienced any of it, you know? So the cards are helpful learning tools. Here, they're just pretty pictures for you to back up my reads. You know, I don't need them anymore. I haven't for years and decades. But... Uh, King of Pentacles, why is it here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands. Mm. Someone just, just, rest, my resting bitch face girl right here, one of them. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an energy of holding back. It's an energy of they feel like they're keeping the high ground by getting their way. So why do we need to keep the high ground? Because we don't love Libra. That's, that's, what they're, that's what they're trying to seal their soul off. They're trying to put their soul in a Ziploc bag and seal it up. All right? But they didn't get all the air out. So the shit that they put in it is going bad. It's rotting. I can smell it from here. It's rotting so bad, they got to leave the house and come down the hill and get the fuck out of there. All right? It's leaking out the bag. And eventually they do come in. But right now, they're keeping, you know... Keeping their distance a little bit. Uh, keeping the high ground is the energy I get off of that. What's on top? <laughs> Four of Cups. They're disappointed. Every time, it's part of the loop. It's just a loop. Your person's a bird. It's just the loop. Uh, I, it really is. Every time they, oh, I feel, I feel good that I got my way and I'm keeping my distance, right? I'm keeping my distance. I feel good that I got my way. 
The love comes in, then they get disappointed in themselves, then they argue with themselves. When they're disappointed in themselves, that's when the soul kicks in and they start looking out the window, maybe spying, maybe wanting to come towards you, but then they leave themselves out in the cold because that creates a burden. They leave themselves out in the cold. Again, it's, it's just around. And then, then they feel good that they kept their distance. And then it all starts again and again and again. The universe just giving me a big circle here. Why is the Four of Cups here? It's disappointment. Because they're disappointed because they, they fucking love you. I don't love Libra. I don't love Libra. This is the snowy owl. I don't. I'm, I'm the queen of fucking swords, male or female. I don't love Libra. I don't. You fucking lying sack of shit. Your shirt's already off. Male or female, the titties are already out. You're in public. You're on camera. There's thousands of people watching. Put your fucking shirt on. You do love Libra for fuck's sake. You liar. Liar. The Ziploc that they used here to seal that shit up is reeking. It's leaking out. It's rotten inside the bag. It's creating a huge burden. 20 wands of burden. <laughs> it's fucking mind blowing. They're fighting 20 wands of, of, of burden, 10 plus 10, with 5 wands of nonsense. That's what they're doing right here, because the lovers is red with the 5 of wands. Fighting 20 wands of burden with 5 wands of nonsense, trying to convince themselves that they're the queen of swords and their soul, put the soul in a Ziploc. Yeah, good luck with that, asshole. Right here is the Six of Swords. I hate people that lie about how they feel. We lie, we lie to ourselves more than we lie to anyone else. And it always ends in regret at the end of the day. All right? It always ends in regret. It does. Why is this, uh, this person... Uh, now, right here, the final outcome, it, uh, they do eventually come towards you. It, it's been verified a couple of times in the reading. It's verified here. But it is minor arcana. We are bound severely by their free will. And your person is probably a bird. And I know birds better than anyone. Not just birds of prey. I've been studying all birds since I was a kid. I love birds. I think they're fucking fantastic. But they're all fucking a little bit nuts. And they all go around in circles and do things. Birds are about patterns. We bought Flem once. My parrot over here. We bought him. He, he lives in a medium rabbit resort that we got him. It was like 50 bucks and we got it for him when he was a baby. We got him like five months old. I, I went out and I bought him a fancy cage. One of them real fancy ones you see that they put the big, you know, blue and gold macaws in and shit like that. He he hated that fucking thing. He absolutely fucking hated it. Why? Because just because it, it he's got to have it his way. He's the burger bird, right? He got to have it his way, and he liked his old cage. He's back in that old cage. I had to put that. I had to sell that fancy cage I bought because he would not go in it. He hated it. The minute I put him in it, he looked at me. Like I was the biggest asshole on the planet. And, and what we've got here, he didn't, it, it, it's someone who doesn't know what's good for him, right? He didn't know what was good for him. He was bigger. He could stretch his wings. He could open up. You know, he, got, he can't open his wings in the current cage he's in. He's got a 30-inch wingspan. The cage is only 27 inches across. He can, he can tear the damn things up if he opens it up. He can't do that, you know, uh, but he didn't want it. He wanted what he wanted, and so we thought. And it goes, it, it, you know, it, it's it's this kind of that's the emperor energy here. That's the Burger King. They try to they could they convince themselves of something, and it's very hard to turn them around. What it takes to turn them around is a real burden. What I should have done with the bird was throw away the old cage so that he couldn't see it. He knew that the old cage was still in the place, so he kept looking. I want that. I want that. Why? Because I want it. Because that's what I want. I want it my way. I'm the burger bird, right? Your person's the burger bird. I mean, it, it, they they convince themselves that that they're not into you, and it creates a huge burden, stubborn burden. And then they come back around. Well, maybe, but then they you know they see the old old way. They want to go back to old patterns all the time. It's I guess what I'm saying is it's about old patterns. Birds are about patterns. They're very. They're very, uh, if you move things around, if you move the living room around, they don't like it. They'll, they'll sit still on the perch in the living room for hours in, in a state of panic because the couch was moved and something like that. It's like this person doesn't want to get out of old patterns. It's the way it feels. So they go around in a loop, yet at the same time, they do want to get out of old patterns. Your person's a fucking bird. 
I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It's very confusing energy because it's a loop. Why is the, why is the Six of Swords here? What's going to happen here? Tell me what's going to happen here. Don't even give me fucking clarifiers on this. Just tell me what's going to happen here. All right, what's the likely outcome here? Okay, the likely outcome is they're slowly moving towards you. Page of Pan uh, Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, they're figuring it out and they're moving towards you. Just like that bird in the living room, when you move the couch, he sits there still. Eventually, very slowly, they loosen up. After a couple of days go by, they get used to the new living room and then they're fine. They get used to their surroundings. If you first buy a bird, they tell you when you get him home for the first few days, he might not eat. Okay, that didn't happen with mine. He was eating in 10 minutes. But uh, they told me it'd be a few days before he started eating. He was, I, I, I put him in his cage, brought him home, went to take a piss, came back out, and he was eating already. He had a face full of fucking food. But in your case with your bird here, uh, they're, they're taking their time. They're, they're sort of chilling out. They want things how they want them. This, this is a person, this is an energy who is very pattern oriented. They're a rigid thinker. A rigid planner and an overthinker. Yes, I get that a lot in this cycle with these people. But this person it has, a, it has a pattern of behavior. And if anything takes them off of that pattern, they get into trouble with it. You know, they, they want to run back to the old thing. And then they regret it, and then they try something new, and then nope, and then, and then, like that. Slowly but surely. Okay, what's on top? Five of Cups. It's going to take them feeling the loss of this connection to bring them in. They're going to have to feel the loss of it. She's going to have to look. This is red with the two of wands. She's going to have to, male or female, it's a girl on the card. She's going to have to look out that window and not see you. It's like I told you. Had I, not, had I thrown out the old cage, he would have been forced to get used to the new one. Okay? He would have eventually gotten used to it. And eventually he would have seen how much better than the cheap ass rabbit resort it is. Or it was. But because he, you know, he, the old cage was there and he could still look at it, they keep going. That's why, that, look, the wand is still there. If you don't understand the analogy, that's the old cage, right? Uh, so, you know, they have to look out the window and see that you're gone, all right? You're gone. This needs to be gone. This needs to be gone and you need to be gone. Everything needs to be gone, this person to come towards you, all right? The old thing needs to be gone and you need to be gone or... They need to see that the old thing is shit. Maybe you being gone is what makes them see what shit the old thing is. I don't know. There's a hundred different ways to read this energy. It's the most confusing fucking energy I've ever read, which is why I say again, your person is probably a bird. They're very confusing. Very confusing creatures. Uh, that's the bottom line here. They need to feel the loss of you to come in. All right, so maybe make yourself less available on social media or something. I don't know. Why is the Five of Cups here? Page of Pentacles. Uh, it's someone who's, learned, who's slow to learn their lessons. It's red with the Five of Pentacles. They need to do this a few times, this pattern, a few times over and over again. I still firmly believe that if they feel the loss of you, if they feel like it's absolutely over and they don't have the chance to... Because what's happening in the energy is this. Yes, it's a pattern-based person, and yes, they're caught in that loop that I showed you. But they're getting used to the loop, okay? So now the loop is becoming the norm. But if, if we take you out of the equation, if all of a sudden the option to go towards you isn't there, then the loop that they're now used to creates that element of freezing when the couch is moved kind of a thing, you know. What's changed here? Something's changed here, that kind of thing. So again, they're learning slowly that they're putting themselves out in the cold. And they are coming towards you, but very, very, very slowly. Okay? Now, I'm going to pull, because you got this card from another deck, I think, in the Friday reading. I'm going to grab the little animal deck, and I'm going to pull on what this... I, that's all I can tell you about your soulmate. I say, I'm a, I want to pull three cards from the universe and a bottom card on this good luck. This change of luck that you're having. I think leave the door open for this bird. Right? This, this bird has flown. <laughs> okay? Leave, leave, uh, they're out flying around. They're circling your house. They come back. They leave the neighborhood. They come back. They leave the neighborhood. They come back. Leave the door open. Eventually, when they get hungry enough, they'll come in. 
your person is a bird. I'm going to title the video that, and I hope I hope nobody understands it. I hope only people watching this, I hope this reading gets 200 views because of that title was confusing to people. I only want people here that can understand that this is their person, their person is doing this. And what you do with a bird, you leave the damn door open when they get hungry enough, they fly in. You know, uh, that that's pretty much it. That's all you can do here. That's what this reading says. This person is a bird. Check them for feathers. I'm going to pull three cards and a bottom card on your Friday card. Okay, on your page of pentacles because you got some luck there, Libra. You got a change in luck coming your way. I felt a luck energy around it. Let's see. What was that uh, luck energy around the Friday card, universe? I'm going to give you a little clarifier on your Friday one card for each sign reading where I don't clarify. Let's find out. What is this? What is this luck coming Libra's way? <laughs> I see the bottom card. Ah, the high priestess. The chariot. Wow. The bottom card is crossing that chariot. And the Two of Pentacles. The bottom card is the Two of Cups. You have love coming your way. Or some kind of work contract. It can go either way. It depends. You'll have to apply it to your situation. If you're waiting on a work contract, it's about to come tr through for you. If you're waiting on love of any kind, it's about to come true. It's not this soulmate. It's something else. You've got something else. You're about to come together. Maybe you're going to run into somebody or whatever. But it's charging towards you. And I think it's this soulmate connection that might be blocking it a little bit, which is why I tell you, just leave the door open. The bird is flying around the neighborhood. When they get hungry enough, they'll fly through. And they better fly through right. You know, they better come in right. That's the best you can do here. You've got something else trying to come in. Let it charge in. Let it charge in. As you release this a little bit, it's very nice. It, it is a soul connection. I got the high priestess here. It's happening underneath the surface. You don't really see it happening. Probably because you're in your head about this right here. It will also, this tells me, give you some options. Okay? It will indeed. And I think our reading started with that card from the large animal deck. Didn't it start with the two of pentacles, as I recall? I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, that's your reading. Uh, you got good things coming your way. My advice to you with this soulmate connection is leave the door open. And, you know, when the bird gets hungry enough, they'll fly in. They've got to feel the loss of you. Or they're just going to stay in this loop. They're growing accustomed to the loop. And believe me, I've had this bird that I have right here. He's going to be 19 years old on March 3rd. I've had him since he was five months old. So we've had him a long time. And I've had many birds before him, many different kinds and all kinds of stuff, but I know birds. And, and I know what's happening here. This is, this is very bird behavior. All right? It, and they will. Uh, once they feel something's gone, they don't want something until it's gone, basically. I can, offer him a, I can offer him a seed all day long, and if he won't take it, I'll go to put it back in the bin. And the moment I throw it back in the bin, he wants the seed. If I bring it back, he'll take it. It happens every time. It's just like uh, when we came in here to do this reading, right? I, w I went to his cage to pick him up, his rabbit resort, to pick him up. And he didn't want to come. He wanted to stay there on his porch, as we call it. Okay? That, that's fine. So I walked away, and I, went, I started to head into the room here to do the reading. He chirped at me. I walked back, and then he came with me. Stepped right up, no problem. Okay, fine. You know, kind of a thing. That's your person. They have to feel the loss of you. Right? They're, they're stubborn. They're the Burger King. They're sitting on their, on their cage perch on, on the porch of the rabbit resort. You know, as long as you're there and they can keep doing the loop, they're just going to keep doing the loop. You know, it is what it is. Uh, it's the best analogies I can give you. It's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward, but it's tough to explain. But they, if they feel the loss of you, they will come rushing in. There's no doubt about it. Because they're getting comfortable in the loop. And if we take away the comfort, that's when the panic sets in. All of a sudden, they want what they didn't want before. But this person is definitely in love with you. They're lying their ass off with this Queen of Swords here in the soul. Universe very clear. You're irreplaceable to this person. And they're suffering a lot of disappointment under the surface, probably, more than anything else. Uh, for their behavior here. I don't blame them. You know, I'll tell you what. That's your reading, but you got something coming towards you. All right, just leave the door open for this person and, and let this in. Whatever it is. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. 
If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? Good luck.